Hey, it's Paul from HowToPlayBase.com and today's lesson, this is the first of a two-parter by the way, we're going to look at the first few sections of Flea's bass line to Dallas, California from the Stadium Arcadium album of course. Great bass line, um, really good example of Flea's kind of fingerstyle funk rock bass playing. Now if Flea's fingerstyle funk rock playing is something that you really like, I've created a detailed course looking at it, breaking it apart and then reconstructing it from the ground up that you might be interested in. Plus, we've also got at the end of the course, um, there are three lessons which look at moving beyond Flea's style and taking um, ideas and influences from other bass players that you can add and layer into the things that are taught in the course. And if you want to have a look at the, the page that gives you information about that, click the link underneath the bottom of the video. Um, this lesson, or the complete lesson, will be a bonus for that course. There's a few song tutorials. Most of those song tutorials have extra stuff that you can't get on the YouTube versions, things like um, backing tracks of the sections you hear, the band in a box, backing tracks that I'm using to play along to, where you get those backing tracks, but for each of the sections in two or three different tempo levels, so you can really start playing out slowly and making sure you've got it perfectly right. There's the notation and tab, and there's usually a play along backing track as well, once you've put the whole song together. So um, do go and check that out. Again, click the link underneath the video, um, and, you'll be able to find out all the details of what's included in the course. When you've done that, come back here and we'll get started with part one of Danny California. You just heard the intro four bars um, before the verse comes in, the vocal comes in. Um, this four bars contains the main kind of two bar pattern. That's used in the verse. There's a little variation in the fourth bar to kind of bring in the verse with some drum, with a drum fill as well. Um, so we'll go through it note by note. Um, first bar. So we've got two A's, fifth fret of the E string, then the octave A at the seventh fret of the D string, then an open E string, then two G's, third fret of the E string, octave G, fifth fret of the D string, and F, third fret of the D string. Now, the one thing to note is the first note of the two A's and the first note of the two G's is um, just played a little staccato. So instead of playing and letting the note sound, you just have a little bit of just choke it a little bit with the left hand. Um, okay, second bar, we're going to play two Ds. Again, the first one of those is choked um, as before, fifth fret of the A string, octave D, seventh fret of the G string, back to the low D, the fifth fret of the A string. Then you're going to play this pattern, which is hammer on from A. Sorry, from G to A, 5th and 7th frets of the D string, back to G at the 5th fret, to E at the 7th fret of the A string, back to D at the 5th fret. So that 2 bar phrase, I'm going to play it again, it's a crucial 2 bar phrase. Um, worst came to worst, you could play the entire verses just using this phrase. Um, it's effectively what Flea does anyway, he throws in some variations, which we'll go through as we go through the various part of the lesson. So, slowly. Okay, then the next two bars, um, we're going to play the first bar as we play, sorry, we're going to play the third bar as we played the first bar. Um, so that's absolutely identical. Two A's, octave A, open E, two G's, G, F, octave G and F. Um, then the fourth bar, we're going to play a fill. So we're playing two D's, fifth fret of the A string again, octave D at the seventh fret of the G string. Back to that D, then we've got A, seventh fret of the D string, back to C, third fret of the A string, up to D, fifth fret of the A string, two E, seventh fret of the A string. Okay, 
and then you'd be into the verse, uh, verse one, that's the next section of the tune. Just heard verse one being played with the band in a box sketch track. It's an eight bar verse. Uh, the two bar pattern played four times, variations on the second, third and fourth time. So the first time it's the basic two bar pattern we learnt in the intro. Okay, so the second time it plays through bars three and four sounds like this. So we've got the variation in bar four, so we're playing, we're playing two low Ds, octave D, fifth and seventh frets of the A and G string, then D, D ham on to E, fifth and seventh fret of the A string, G, the fifth fret of the D string, E and D, seventh and fifth frets of the A string, C, the uh, eighth fret rather of the E string. Um, Okay, then the next two bars, so bars five and six of verse one. Okay, so again, the first bar of that two bar pattern is the same as we've learned before, and the variations in the second bar. This time we're gonna play, so we're playing two low Ds, fifth fret of the A string, octave D at the seventh fret of the G string, the low D, then we're hammering on from G to A, fifth and seventh frets of the D string, hitting C, the fifth fret of the G string, and then hammering on from D to E, fifth and seventh frets of the A string, hitting G at the fifth fret of the D string again. Okay, then the last two bars, a slight variation in the first pattern, we're gonna play this, So that's that two bar pattern. The variation in the first bar is instead of playing, we're just gonna substitute that second eighth note of the low A with two sixteenth notes. Everything else is the same. And then the bar, the second bar of the pattern. So we're playing two low Ds, octave D locations as before, then two more low Ds, sixteenth notes this time. And then we're gonna play G, A, G, hammer on to A, fifth and seventh fret of the D string, back to G, the fifth fret of the D string, E and D, seventh and fifth frets of the A string. Okay, and that's, put those four two bar patterns together and that'll give you verse one. Um, the next verse will be the next section of the tutorial. Um, that's verse two. Okay, you just heard verse two being played along with the Band in the Box backing track. Um, this is slightly different. Instead of being eight bars as verse one was, it's nine bars and we've got an extra bar which helps us transition to the chorus. Um, again, it's built around this basic two bar pattern. Um, and indeed, the first two bars play that without variation. The next two bars, we've got a slight variation. We're gonna play this. to the A. Um, so what we're playing, the A, the first bar of that, that bars three and four of chorus, of verse two rather, is the same as before. And then the second bar, we're playing low D, high D, low D, G, hammer on to A, back to G, then we're going to hammer on from D to E, 
to G, back to E. Um, all those note locations we've looked at before. Fifth and seventh frets of various strings. So you should be able to get that. Uh, the next two bars, bars five and six, are the two bar pattern without variation. Actually, I lied, there's a slight variation there. Um, and the variation is when you go to that A, you don't play the open E string afterwards. Just go down to G. The rest of the pattern as before. Okay, that takes us to the last three bars of verse two, and this is where we transition out of the verse and into the chorus. Um, what we've got starts off with the, the pattern in A minor down to G that we've learnt before. No variation there. Then we're going to go to D minor and we're going to play something like this. And then we get down to F, which is the first, the root note of the F5 chord on the chorus. We'll just play those last two bars again. Two, three, four. And that F is the first note of the chorus. Um, so you should be able to put that section together and get through verse two. Um, now when you go to put these sections together, the intro goes straight into verse one, which goes in straight into verse two. So um, when you've learnt the sections, you could practice gluing them together as well. Um, and when you have, you can glue it to the chorus, which is the next section. Let's go and have a look at what Flea does in the chorus. just heard the chorus with the band in a box sketch track what you might have noticed is that to give contrast from the verse what Flea's doing is he's upped the level of rhythmic activity but he's simplified the ideas he's using in his bass lines it's much more um, root note orientated so what we've got is a basic two bar pattern that runs through most of the chorus that sounds something like this so we're playing F C and open A, we'll go through this again in a minute. C, sliding up to D, and then open E and G. So we've got F first, first fret of the E string. Then we're gonna to go to C at the third fret of the A string. And we've got that open A. We're gonna go back to C, slide to D, third and fifth frets of the A string. And those last bits are open E to G. So it's a pretty straightforward pattern um, that repeats. It repeats again. Um, so it repeats three times. Then we get to the last three bars. Again, this section is not symmetrical eight bar section like you find in a lot of songs. Um, it's a nine bar section and we've got an extra bar which kind of transition us, transitions us back to the, the verse. So the last three bars we're going to play, the first bar is as before, we've got F going to C. Then the next two bars, what we're going to play is back into that riff. Um, so those two bars, it's that kind of rhythm. Um, and all those notes are just D, the fifth fret um, of the A string, which you slide into from the C, of course. Okay, so that's the chorus. Um, you can go back, watch the play along at the start of this section of the tutorial. Um, after that first chorus, we've got a four bar, instrumental section before the next verse comes in. That four bar instrumental section is based on the main theme, but there's a couple of variations. So we're going to look at that. Three, two, one. 
Okay, you just heard the four bar interlude uh, that we're going to play between the end of chorus one and the start of verse three. Um, again, built on the two bar riff pattern that we looked at right at the top of the lesson. Um, again, minor variations. The first two bars of this four bar interlude. There's no open E string in that first pattern from A minor to G. But everything else is the same. Then the next two bars, we've got a variation in the second bar, um, i.e. the fourth bar of the interlude, which is quite similar to the variation in the intro. Um, first, the first bar of that second two bars is as before. And then we've got this variation. So we're playing low D to high D. Then we're playing low D, playing A, C, D, G, E. And then you'd be back to that in the start of verse three. Okay, verse three is gonna be the last section of part one of the tutorial. Um, again, it's a nine bar verse built on that two bar pattern. And then we've got that three bars at the end that kind of transitions to the next chorus. So um, let's go through it. The first two bars are basic pattern that we've already learnt. Okay, next two bars, we've got a variation in the um, second bar, the D minor back to A minor bar. We're gonna play, um, so that's as before, then the fourth bar. So we're playing two Ds, low Ds, octave D, low D. Then we're gonna hammer on from the low D to E, fifth and seventh frets of the A string. Play G, fifth fret of the D string. Open A, and while that open A is playing, it gives you a chance to shift your hand. You're gonna get C, hammer on to D, third and fifth frets of the A string, back to C. So we're playing, play it slowly. And then be back into. So no variations there in bars five and six. And then seven, eight, and nine, we're transitioning to the chorus again. We're gonna play. And that's all on D, D minor chord. first note of the second chorus and um, that'll be the first section of the second part of the tutorial so look out for that hope you enjoyed that tutorial i'll see you in part two